I am over here at the Sportsman stand here with FX and with Donny from Donny uh, from Sabre Tactical, Donny FL. Hi Donny. Hello. Hi hi, good to see you again. Same here. Yep. Um, can you please tell me more about some of the latest products like the Yokozuna and the Ryu? And then yep. we'll hand over to Dane, hopefully. I know he's busy over there. Yep. Right? Yeah. And PJ's just say hi. <laughs> right. Yeah, over so to you. This year, we have, or at the end of uh, 2023, we came out with the Ryu and the Yokozuna. And it first started out with uh, being the quick disconnects. Like, you know, people like to be able to remove their suppressors before putting on, like, in, inside their gun case and stuff like that, make it easy. But one of the concerns was, like, are there going to be point of impact changes? Right. So we desi designed this quick disconnect where it's indexed so that it's always in the same spot every time you take it on, take it off. So the point of impact shouldn't change. Um, so with the Ryu and the Yoko, it's, mo it's modular, so you can change or add different lengths. You can actually buy more the baffles, like if you want it longer. But the Ryu comes with three sections, and yep, you just keep adding them on to your liking. Sometimes you know guys want to keep their guns the shortest possible, so just just give them the option to make it shorter if they need it to. How many, how many does it come with as standard? The standard is three for right. the Ryu, and with the Yoko is four. And if you wanted to buy extensions, could you? Yep, you can buy it from your air gun dealer. Perfect, so, wow. So in this one, this is the quick disconnect. The Yoko also come with a quick disconnect, but in this version, uh, we have the threaded. So you can actually buy the threaded. Oh, what? Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. Take two. Um, but, no, it's cool. But uh, yeah, so it also comes with thread for guys who just always keep the, the same suppressor on, the same gun. You can also get it with the threaded. So perfect. Yep. So that's that's cool. So just on there, that's uh, basically that attaches onto there. That's threaded. Yeah. And it's quick disconnect here. This one's not quick disconnect. No, but that one is. Yeah, this one is. Uh, okay. Quick disconnect. So, right. Awesome. Yeah. So that's the latest and you know a couple of years ago we came and it was a fat boy it was all the, the rave uh, We're still getting questions about the fat boy today you know, But I think that there's a lot of interest in, in the new it's the new range for definite. I mean, the Fatboy is awesome. I've, I've got it in all its entirety I think the one thing that's missing with the Fatboy is some element of quick disconnect. I suppose well, We do have the quick disconnect. Oh, you do for them. Yep. So we make um, rear caps or quick disconnect rear caps for all of our current suppressors, like well, the Sumo, Tatsu, Fatboy Ronin. Perfect. <laughs> well, that's one thing that's missing from my shopping list then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you tell me more about the new chassis you mentioned? Yeah. So wow. This is a new chassis. Actually, I'm going to switch over to Thane. Thane's more expertise on this one. Thank you. Okay, Hi, so Thane. How, how's it going? Thane Simmons. So, this is a new King chassis. Uh, this is the debut. No one's seen this before. So, first so, time everybody's seen it. Fantastic. But before before this, all it, it, this came in the GRS stock, right? The wood stock, which is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. So, we wanted to make it. So that you can shoot from a bench or shoot PRS because this gun is capable of shooting slugs, pellets, whatever whatever you want to feed it. So we designed this, this uh, chassis system for this gun where you've got built-in Arca Swiss, you've got built-in Picatinny, you've got your M-lock slots right here right. that you can add your weights to. You've got full adjustability here, up and down, right? You've got adjustability here, come up, back and forth, and then you've got adjustability here. So we've also got a bubble level on there, and then we've we've made it so that it's compatible with AR-15 uh, style grips. Have you thought about changing this grip out with one of those grips to completely bling it up? <laughs> oh, so this is, this is one of those grips. Is that no, 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 right the gold, the, the gold one. Oh, the gold, yeah. The gold, yeah. Yeah, that would bling it up. That would bling it up, I think. Yeah, for definite. Fantastic. So, is this is this readily available now? No, no. This is this is a prototype, and it should be ready in April. Right, ready for is that a US release and then UK or global release? Uh, global release. Global release in yeah, April yeah. this year. Superb. So, all of you uh, own lucky owners of uh, the FX King, put this on your shopping list because this 
looks like a fantastic piece of kit. Do we have any kind of indication of price at all? Uh, it'll be under a thousand bucks. Under a thousand, yeah, right. Oh, yeah. I mean, for, for, for yeah, I mean, I how? Mean, we're shooting for around six, somewhere in that realm. Sure. US, so 600 US right there. Superb. Six, I mean, I can imagine it adds, like you say, if it, people are shooting this from the bench, it adds the, a kind of certain weight to it as well. Yep, yep. It's, it's, it's very, very robust, adds a weight to it, and then just all the adjustability and, and yeah. you know, the features, obviously, to be able to shoot a PRS match or be able to shoot from the bench. Um, you know, it, it, it's the crown previously was like one of my favorite bench guns to be able to pull the trigger on that crown in the way that it sat and shot. And so this coming after the crown and being like, you know, the king um, is another gun that from the bench is just a dream to share. Mine too, to be fair. Yeah, yeah the crown. I've still, I mean, I've got a crown mark too and I, I you know, it's one of my favorite rifles. So yeah, brilliant. I mean, is there anything else coming out on the horizon that you might want to talk DR, about? The DRS. Yeah. So the new DRS, yeah. we're, we're going to work on a chassis for that as well. Okay. Give people another option to be able to shoot with that gun because that's such a phenomenal gun as well. Right. Right. With the, you've got the air tube around the, um, around the barrel. So it just looks like a regular firearm. But so we'll be building a chassis for that that will also fit like a Remington 700. As Super. Well. Donnie mentioned that something uh, was supposed to be here and it's not. It's going to be at the next show. Uh, uh, so talk about the Karma. Right. So, so the Karma. The Karma Red Pen is what we shot last year on bench. Yeah. That'll be at Iwa at the next show. Okay. And we haven't even seen it yet. Oh, you haven't? So we've seen pictures, right? Renditions and stuff. But we haven't actually held the newest version of the gun. We made a ton of changes, like probably 50 changes on that gun. Right. And they did everything. And they said, okay, we're going to change all of this. So that's gonna we're going to see that for the first time at Iwa. Fantastic. We're, we're excited. <laughs> well, so am I now. Yeah. Especially because you haven't seen it and you're excited. So, yeah. yeah. Superb. Well, Thane, it's fantastic meeting you again. And thank you very much for the overview. And again, like those of you who've got Kings, so April this year, check this out. Thank you very much. Take care.